Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I turned this rough sketch into this. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more art content. And now, let's get started. First, I transferred the sketch to some thicker paper. I used the Clairefontaine Paint on Multi Technique paper, which is my absolute favorite for graphite and colored pencils. In this piece, I'm using the Faber-Castell Polychromos pencils. I started to outline the iris with phthalo blue and added some more color with pencil strokes that point in the direction of the pupil to get a nice pattern. When I was happy with the thickness of the phthalo blue ring, I used helio blue reddish to darken the outline a little more. And I kept switching between these two colors until I was happy with the gradient. Next up, I added mauve to the drawing and repeated the process of blending it in with the previous color. I also added some mauve to the blue parts of the iris. After outlining the Deathly Hallow symbol, I added middle purple pink to the area around the pupil and blended it in with the rest. To make the pattern of the iris more interesting, I lightened the dark blue hues with a white colored pencil and added a little bit of light cobalt turquoise here and there. I also went back in with mauve to darken some areas of the iris and used an eraser pencil to create some nice highlights. After finishing the iris, I started shading in the rest of the eye. Beginning with the crease, I gradually darkened the shadow areas. Some people like to go right in with very soft and dark pencils, but I'm always scared to mess it up, so I work in layers, starting with harder pencils like HB, then going to 2B, 4B and so on. Building up the dark areas layer by layer takes a little while longer, but I like to play it safe here.
For the lower lid, I added some light creases to give the skin a little texture and make it a bit more natural. When I was happy with the overall shading, I used a blending stump to blend it all out. I made sure to make the eyeball a little smoother than the skin since the latter is way more textured in real life. Finally, I drew the eyelashes, and this is the most difficult part for me. I don't draw eyes that often, so I'm a little insecure about how to make them look natural, and this is why I first drew them with the lighter pencil, and then went back in with the darker one when I was happy with where I had placed them. And this is the finished result. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe for more videos. Also, if you want to see more of my artworks, feel free to follow me on Instagram. Have a great day. Bye guys. <music>